Welcome to Cloud Pages. Use a lifecycle management for Google Apps. In this short video, we're going to show you how to configure Cloud Pages deprovisioning. First, we need to browse to the organizational unit where we're going to configure Cloud Pages deprovisioning policy. From the menu, select Configure deprovisioning. Before we begin, we must configure the executor. The executor can be the user's manager, the main administrator, or a selected user. Before we go ahead and delete this user, Cloud Pages can be configured to contact the account executor to verify that this account is ready for deletion. Once the executor has approved the account deletion, we can follow the deprovisioning steps of changing the user's password, delegate access to the user's inbox, as well as hiding the user from the Google Global Address Book and moving the user to a different organizational unit within your Google Apps environment. If required, Cloud Pages can also rename the user's account, which allows us to then reuse the user's email address and add it to the executor as an alias. We can also set up a filter and a label inside the user's inbox so that any new emails for the user that has been deleted are automatically moved into this particular label. Any Google Docs that have been owned by this particular user can also be moved to the executor and highlighted using the following label. We can also transfer ownership of Google Sites, calendars, groups, as well as transferring Google Contacts. Step 12 allows us to jump out of the automated process to perform some manual tasks, such as migrating the user's email with the Cloud Migrator, or performing a manual Google Takeout if the user has some YouTube videos or some Google Plus content. When the manual steps have been performed, Cloud Pages can then go back and automatically suspend the account before deleting the account completely from your Google Apps domain. We can also delay how long before the suspended account is completely deleted from your Google Apps environment. No need to create an appointment to remind you of that task, Cloud Pages will just do it for you. Let's now see our deprovisioning policy in action. We can use the Cloud Pages search to find our user that's going to be deprovisioned. From the menu, simply select deprovision user. As a reminder, Cloud Pages will inform us of exactly what it's going to do before it fully deletes this user. And as we can see, Alex's account has been flagged to be deprovisioned by Cloud Pages. As Alex's manager, the first step in the deprovisioning process is to approve the deprovisioning of Alex from our system. The link in the email will take us directly through to Cloud Pages, where we can approve or reject the request to deprovision Alex from our Google Apps environment. Selecting Approve will now move Alex through the rest of our deprovisioning policy. We can track the progress of our deprovisioned user by selecting Requests, and then within the Other Workflows, selecting the user that has been deprovisioned. All of our steps have been successfully completed. We are now waiting confirmation that our manual steps have also been completed. Once the manual tasks have been done, Cloud Pages will then go ahead and suspend the user and mark it for deletion. So, now that we've deprovisioned our user, let's go and have a look at our executor's account. Cloud Pages has created a Gmail filter that will apply a label to any emails that were destined for the deprovisioned user. Cloud Pages has also transferred ownership of all the Google Drive content while retaining the sharing within the organization.